Hey guys, welcome to the video. Before I start, I'd just like to let you know that if you are having difficulties in today's video doing any of the steps and you want a troubleshooting guide, it will be linked down below in the description. It will also be in the end animation and it will also be in the top right corner right now if you click on that eye. If you're having difficulties, like a step's not working, just go click on it, check it out. I'll go through everything and I'll have them all linked in the description so you can go to your exact problem. And after watching the full troubleshooting video, if I did not answer your problem, just leave a comment down below on that video. I will make sure to answer it, or I will use it for the next episode in the troubleshooting series. And with that, enjoy the video. You guys smashed the like button on the last video where I taught you guys how to upload songs to your Oculus Quest using VNVIA. And since then, there has been a bunch of updates which have led to a bunch of problems. So I wanted to make this update guide to teach you how to do it with the 1.9 update and hopefully beyond. Step 1 is to install SideQuest. Go down into the link in the description where it will take you to the SideQuest homepage where you then can click on Downloads and click on the specific version of SideQuest you need for your PC. Wait for the file to finish downloading, then click on it to run the installer. After you click the installer, Windows will ask you where you want to install the thing to. Just click next after picking, then click install. This little error message here is just there because I already have SideQuest, so you won't see that. But it will install, then all you have to do is click finish with the run SideQuest checked, and SideQuest will start up. Next, you're going to want to take your Oculus Quest and plug it into your PC using a USB-C to USB-3 cord so that your PC can read the file. Then go into your Oculus Quest and click Allow Access. Once your headset is officially connected to your PC, you should see the red light in the top left corner turn into a green light. This next step is only going to apply to people who already have VMBF installed on their Quest. Inside Quest, head up to the top right where you'll see some boxes that say currently installed apps. Click on those boxes, which will take you to your currently installed apps page. From that page, you're going to want to find BMBF, you're going to want to find Beat Saber, and you're going to want to find We Love Oculus. All three of those will have to be uninstalled. To uninstall them, just click on the cog and click uninstall app. The uninstallation process will continue until you see a little green box that says completed. Then go back to your home, then click on my apps again and you will see that they are uninstalled. The next thing you're going to want to do is go down into the description and click the link that'll take you to github.com bmbf releases. Once you're here, scroll down to where it says bmbf will need to be uninstalled and reinstalled this update. Scroll down to assets, click it to open it up, and click on the bmbf underscore tv wrapper dot apk. You should then start downloading the file. There will be another link in the description, bmbf.dev slash stable, which you will also have to go to. Once they're here, go under assets, click com.weloveoculus.bmbf.apk. That will also download. Once they have both downloaded, open SideQuest. Once in SideQuest, you're going to want to go back up to the top right and click install apk file from folder. Windows Explorer will open. From Windows Explorer, you're going to want to scroll down to where you save the files. In my case, it's download, and you're going to want to click on both of them. So that's one. That's two. Once you see the green bar show up, that means you have completed everything. After completing everything you have to do on the PC side, put on your Quest and reinstall Beat Saber. You can do this by heading into Apps going into not installed and clicking on Beat Saber. Then just wait for the very long installation to take place and I'll see you then. Once installed, go to Apps and click on Beat Saber. Beat Saber will load up, 
and at this point you can close it. I always like to go into one game first, just hit a couple blocks, get everything registered, then leave Beat Saber. But you guys can leave as soon as you agree. You then want to of course exit the game heading back to the home screen. Once you have run Beat Saber once, you're going to want to go into library, head over to unknown sources and click on bmbf, com.weloveoculus.bmbf. This will then open up a web page with the bmbf setup, just like you did the first time, or if you haven't done this at all, all you have to do is go to continue and follow all the steps. You'll uninstall Beat Saber. This is OK. And then you'll patch Beat Saber. This may take some time. After this is all done, I recommend you read this. I already have, so I don't need to. Then you click Install Modded Beat Saber. Let's go to Settings if that pops up. In Security, all you have to do is scroll down here where it says Unknown Sources. Check it on. And then it'll say Security Stuff, blah, blah, blah. Just click OK. Then all you have to do is click the B button to go back. Then try the installation again. Click install. Just wait a couple seconds. Don't click social like I did. Just wait and BMBF will pop up. Ta-da! Now we're at BMBF homepage where we can go through and find any song that you might want to do. If you want to play the song, all you got to do is click the little download icon. Oh, mine's lagging out a little. And then the song will be added to your playlist, where you then can move it however you would like. Once you're done, just click Sync to Beat Saber. and it will start syncing. Then from there you can just click Start Beat Saber. Click Allow. And Beat Saber will start up. But this time, you'll have your custom song. Click Continue. Click Solo. Go to custom maps or whatever playlist you put it in, then you can find your song. And then you can play to your desire. I'm currently sitting in a chair, so it doesn't work the best since there's a desk right in front of me, but you'll be able to play to your fullest. If you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe because I will be posting tutorials over and over again if there is new updates and problems arise. Also, if you want to catch the troubleshooting stuff, subscribe so you can see it whenever it comes out. And yeah, have fun, Beat Saber, and see you in the next one. Goodbye.